<coughs> right, so here is my media centre. And it's got a Blu-ray drive and a memory card reader. The case isn't too bad actually, it's quite a nice little case, something like 48 quid. I've got my media centre keyboard with a mouse on it as well, which goes through that there. Here's my Onkyo receiver, DVD, VHS, Nintendo Wii, Xbox, The Hub, Xbox 360. Everything is connected to the Onkyo and then the Onkyo goes into the TV here. Right. So when I turn on the TV, so now I've turned on the TV, the amplifier turns itself on. Just wait a second for it to show up. So the TV is now on and the amplifier is now on. Okay. So I set it to the right mode, which is now on the PC. So if I go to my media center remote control, I can turn on the PC. Just wait a second, it'll come up on there. There you go. So I just put my password in. Press OK. Here we go. So now, I've got my media center on there as well. And if you look in media center, if you go down to TV, you'll see I've got that there. If I click that, Here's all the channels that I can watch. So let's try one. Um, channel 5. See what's on channel 5. Um, I'm sure we've got some. Let's see what we got here. Police interceptors. Interesting. Let's try that. Don't know what this is. Let's just wait a second for it to stream from the internet. Here you go, it's loading. There you have it. And it's not bad quality either. And watch. That's it really, it's not a bad piece of kit that I've made. And I've got a little Sony sticker as well. <laughs> and a little PlayStation sticker as well. I mean there's other stuff on it as well like, if I go back up to the main menu, I can go into weather and look at the weather forecasts. And it tells me what the weather's like today. There's a satellite image, you see it's still playing in the bottom there, as well with videos. Go to current weather. And there you have it, 7 degrees. Not bad. You've got other stuff like, I've got like an eBay add-on as well, so I can check all my eBay stuff. You've got, um, you can even watch like YouTube stuff, and uh, I can watch, uh, all of the South Parks as well for free. So if I go to, oh, where is it now? Online media and then program library. In here you can add other programs like I've got Picasso as well, I've got Rocket Boom, Web Media, obviously I've got the iPlayer stuff, Ugle as well. Ugle's quite good. I'll show you Ugle. One sec, there's Ugle. Right, okay. So, I can go to my, this is um, Apple, um, <coughs> Apple's trailers, so it's downloading the trailers from Apple, and this is good quality as well, because obviously you can watch all the high definition stuff as well, so if I go to, say, I'll do 
Fast and Furious trailer one. And this is quite quick actually. Um, compared to like the iPlayer stuff. So here you go. It started already. The high definition is quite quick. So let's go back. So obviously there's trailers. Let's see what else we can do on here. Oh, don't do that. Uh, let's see. South Park. I think you get the basic idea. There's all your South Park episodes. Um, everything pretty much. And you can see here, the more I scroll across, the more it adds on. So it says 48 there. It adds more and more on, so basically it's got everything, every single South Park on there as well. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, it's got um, World TV as well, so you can watch like TV from anywhere in the world. So if I go to, if I go to country here, yeah. so country. So here's like something from. Some funky country, I don't know what it is. <laughs> but yeah, it streams from all different countries, so that's quite good. Daily motion as well, all that sort of stuff. I got, um, you got audio as well, it streams audio as well. So you got Shoutcast there, you can add other ones. Flick uh, animation stuff as well, and that's basically everything. Um, there's loads more plugins as well that you can add on, so you can do more stuff. Obviously, I can connect it up to my Xbox 360, but it's not really much point because the PC does everything anyway, and it's pretty quiet, so that's quite good.